everyone, Sunny here from Online Sales Funnel Academy and just want to welcome you back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five of my most popular designs that I make in Canva.com so I can put my um, both my own and my clients' pictures on Instagram. Okay, so the very first thing you do is you go to Canva.com and you're going to want to create an account. As you can see, I've already got my face here. I've already created one. And mine's hooked to a credit card because sometimes I purchase images and uh, little things like that that um, have a price tag on them. But you're gonna, after you go ahead and do this basic one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on create a design and we're gonna scroll right down and they've got Instagram post right here. So we're going to select that. Okay, and it's going to open up. Now what's cool about Canva is that, um, so I don't know if you're like me or not, but I'm not very good at doing design inside of um, the, the those really fancy graphic design programs. So a Canva is, is uh, perfect for someone like me who is kind of okay at, you know, uh, moving around but not an expert. So I think that's what's so attractive about it. And what I really like about it too is if when you put something, um, as you'll see in a moment, when we put something here on our little canvas, it's going to, uh, you'll be able to enlarge and decrease the size of the picture without losing pixelation. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so over here we have photos. Hold on, let me, yeah, we've got photos. So th these can be like other people's photos. And if you wanted to, let's do a horse, just a random example. Okay, I put in the word horse. All these photos are going to come up and some of them are free and some of them are not so if you just want the free ones now these are called royalty free images right so let's just use this one okay so we're gonna pretend to do an Instagram post with this horse okay so in my first example I wanted to show you guys um, a way to the very first kind of photo I want to show you is how I would do an Instagram photo by changing the filter okay so um, a lot of uh, experts recommend on Instagram, one of the things you're trying to do is you're trying to stand out. So what you want to do is change how the photo looks and you do that by changing the filter. Okay, so look at that. So we get them in frame here and then we're going to click filter and then you can go through all these different ones and see which one uh, stands out, you know, best for you. So um, I don't know. Oh, I like that one. I think we'll go with this one. Okay, so this would be my, my very first one. So just real basic, just do an image and then change the filter, okay? Now I'm gonna do add a new page, I'm gonna delete. Okay, so he's still right here, that's the first one. Now the second one I'm gonna show you is, let's use the same horse over and over, that'd be cool. Um, the second one I'm gonna show you is how to put text overlay on top of the photo, okay? so. First, you know, you're going to want to, maybe you're doing a motivational post or something like that and you just want to, so you're just going to resize your photo and there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can, you know, then you can just pick your filter. You can either pick a different filter or, you know, um, then over here you can order to text and we're going to grab the heading and you could do subheading. That just means large, medium and small. So you just grab that and you're going to say uh, free like the wind. Okay, we're going to make it bigger. We're going to pick a larger font until we find one that we like. Okay, I like that. That's looking cool. And then we're going to go with maybe change change the font. Oh, that's weird. Let's see. Do this one. And then we're going to change the... Uh, we are going to change this and we're gonna make it we're gonna try we're gonna make it fit down in here we don't have to though we can if we wanted we could make it the size of the whole thing like this we could do this um, we could do we could even do free like the wind you could do something like that if you wanted and this is good for motivational, like some people have a fitness picture in the background and we'll do the motivational quote over the top. And literally one of the best places you could do is literally come to Google and do motivational quotes and I'm gonna do horse. Let's just find one. 
Uh, let's see, what's this? Look at all these. Okay. What are all these? Some horses will test you. A horse never runs so fast. If you've gained the trust of a horse, you've won a friend for life. Oh, that's cool. Um, let's see. That's a blank one. Well, we're just going to do free like the wind. Okay. So this is how you would go... Okay, so that was number two. So now you know how to do a filter, and now you can do a filter with an image, and you can always change the color of the graphic over the top, or just go on the wheel here. Um, you can do either one. What I like to do is I look at the, um, the, the most dominant color in the background here is like a dark green, and you go to the color wheel, and you go straight across from it, and that is the color opposing it that will look the best. Which, is, which it looks like it's going to be this dark fuchsia. I can find it. Something like that. Okay, well you guys get the you get the idea on how to do this. Okay, <clears throat> the third kind of photo I want to so I'm going to just duplicate. What I'll do is I'll just delete this. Oops. So we're going to go back to photo and we're going to add the same horse. We're going to need them in every one of them. So this time we're going to do. We're going to do uh, the picture of the horse, um, and then we're going to do an overlay image. So, and I'll show you what I mean. So if you go to elements and you click on square, this is a really cool, this is, this is kind of like filter. You can do this a couple different ways. So I'm going to start with light blue and I'll show you what I mean. And I'm going to change the transparency on him. It's kind of like using a filter, but if you didn't want to do the full picture, what's cool is you could do it like this, right? Or something like that. If you had a, um, this might w work better for like a motivational picture, like if it was a picture of you speaking or something and you want to do something like this. And then you would do your, you could do, I always tend to do this. I come up here and I do square. I use this all the time, you guys, like 99% of all my photos. I add a border and it's really cool because you can just do this. You can add the um, added black, right? So it really pops. And what's cool is you can just move it around. So like, oops, like I want to add text now. So let's go here and I would say, let me free like the wind again. And I'm gonna make that really large. It's 144 font. And I'm gonna make this, this time I'm gonna make this one um, not as, I'm gonna make the free like the wind. Let's see. And I'm gonna do the border, a different color. I changed my mind. I'm gonna go back to the back red. Oops. I'm gonna bring this up. And bam. We've got a text overlay. And of course you could always make the horse fainter, as it were. But then you then you could have a uh, color pop like that something like that if you wanted okay so but you've got that nice background border back here now I'm gonna um, okay my fourth one that I'm gonna show you guys how to do which is pretty cool uh, this one I know I committed to using this horse in all the photos let's try him again now this is kind of cool we there's something else you can do you can crop your photo down this is the fourth one so you can crop the photo down okay and then you can either make it bigger or you can also you can duplicate to the horse you can right click copy and right click paste so then you could have multiple pictures of the horse if you wanted and it doesn't have to be this horse you could flip it and you could just you can also flip his image so if you you could make this into a motivational quote and just have these two or you could you know, let's see you could flip this one and again you guys see how simple this is you just drag and drop your images around so think about like your marketing like what what can you do to spice up your your Instagram excuse me <coughs> excuse me what you could do to spice up your Instagram, you know, with some of these little tips and tricks. So, um, okay, so that's that's one idea also. And I want to show you this one. I, I like doing this one a lot. So now we, we cropped him down. Now let's say we want to spice up the background. 
with not just a solid photo. Um, I've got a couple tricks up my sleeve. What I like to do is I go to photos and he, my first trick is I look up a picture of the ocean. Okay, and you what you can do is make, it could be the ocean, it could be the sky, and you can put that, and what you do is you do position and you go backward. And look at that, you got a really awesome, like a multicolor gradient in the back now. Now if you wanted to move this around, what you can do is move this, you double click, and what you can do is move this over, like if it's too light or dark. And now you've got a, uh, a horse, you can put him there. So it's kind of cool, so it's not like your typical, you know, not just a solid, not just texture in the background, you got like an actual, you know, um, another one. So. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to show you something else. So I'm going to keep the horse. I'm going to get rid of the background and delete. Now this is one of my little tricks coming up, my ninja tricks. It works really well in, in my photo. So I'm going to do a square. Um, so check this out you guys. So if you take a square and you move it inward and you move it upwards, it becomes a really big line. And what you can do is you add a color and then you drop, uh, you drop back the transparency to like 30, let's call it 30. There's no hard and fast rules on this, okay? But what I do is I, um, then I rotate the image right here, I tip it, and then I make it a little bit bigger. And guys, watch this. You can duplicate this, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change the color on the second one to, uh, let's do blue. Okay, so now I got a blue one, I'm gonna, Duplicate it again, and now my third one I've got is uh, the color is going to be yellow, and I'm going to duplicate, and the fourth one is going to be, let's just say, the orange. Okay, so now I've kind of got some pastels going on, right? So what I can do is make these as big or as small as I want, and I can do an overlay in the back, and it looks like we've added like a rainbow but every time you overlap, they actually bleed the color onto each other. And uh, let's look. And it just sets a kind of a really relaxed mood. It's pretty cool, little ninja trick. And what you do is you put all these, position these to the back, as far as back as it'll go. You put the horse at the front, you know. And then just do this, position, back, position, back. So now look, now it looks like we went and did a bunch of really cool designs back here and we didn't. And I'm all about that. Okay, and that look cool. Okay, is there anybody else up top here? He should be at the back position. Okay, he's at the back. Okay, cool. And if you like wanted to rotate it, you could just bring it up or rotate it this way or that way. If you wanted to, you could like spruce it up a little bit. But then that leaves this cut this corner unattended, so we'll have to get to that. That's looking pretty cool. Let's move the horse out of the way for a second. Let me duplicate this one. And I'm gonna do a green, do a lime green, and I lost my horse. Probably stuck here somewhere. And we're going to crop him down. Crop. We're done. And then we're going to make him bigger. And that's kind of cool. And then you can either add your your elements here. You can add your border if you want, um, or not. And then you can also so you can either add the external border or on the outside, like this. If that's too formal looking or too too boxy, what you can do is there's a second border. If I can find it, there it is. There's there's two. There's there's this one, it makes it look more like a portrait. I usually, usually do dark gray or black, and you can drag it out here, line the border. And there you go. 
Then you can also add the text overlay if you like. So there you go guys, there's uh, five of my secret ways to uh, get my Instagram posts looking all schnazzy for my uh, timeline. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to um, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to click the bell icon for more uh, video updates from me. Let me know if you do any of these uh, little Canva tricks um, on your social media marketing. Let me know um, what they look like or link off to your bio. I'd love to take a look at them. And uh, drop a comment down below and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see on this channel. All right, you guys, talk to you soon. I'll see you in the next one. So take care.